Brian Terrian here from the Disability Digest with what I am hopes will be a time-saving tip for you uh, in contacting Social Security for your related business. This could be for anything you're communicating with them, disability benefits, retirement, etc. So here at the Disability Digest, we help people do three things mostly. Um, help them get their disability benefits approved fast. Uh, we help you keep them and we help you maximize them. So we hope you enjoy this and other tips. What I have up on the screen here is a screenshot of my cell phone last week when I was trying to contact Social Security. Um, I was on hold for more than 47 minutes and 47 seconds. Um, but the good news is I had been locked out of my online account. Um, since 2016 and I finally got in as a result of being persistent. So in this video what I'm going to cover with you is the reality of contacting Social Security by phone, uh, what you're subject to and what are some tips to reduce your potential hold time or your overall communication time with them. So I am going to put up on the screen um, next some information from the Office of the Inspector General. They provide audit reports on the Social Security Administration. And there's some information, I'll put the link below this video. Uh, there's some information on page uh, 14 and 15 that <clears throat> is important to be aware of. Um, what you'll find is that um, there's a significant amount of calls that are dropped. You're going to have probably about a 14% chance of your call just plain being dropped. And that's uh, outlined on page 14. Um, and then as we look down here on page 15, um, it talks about the average wait time. SSA's average wait time was 35 minutes in 2022. They don't have updated 2023 uh, information out, although we're halfway through the year. So you can expect to wait and it's likely that your call will be dropped. So what do you do about that? Um, what we've learned in the 17 years that we've been doing this is that there are better times to call Social Security than others. So I just typed in Social Security phone number on Google and they have this nice um, uh, chart that will show you below the picture when you scroll down when the peak times are. So you can see the call volume on Monday, Tuesday's really high, Wednesday it drops, Thursday it's even lower, and Friday it is the lowest. So if you're gonna have any interaction with Social Security, then according to this and based on our experience, the best time to do it is later in the week when the call volume is low. And this also applies um, to going into one of their offices. Um, <clears throat> if you're going to do that, it's best to do it later in the day. So I am in hopes that this will help you save some time money. If you've got other time saving tips or feedback on this, we'd love to hear from you. Join us in the comments. Make it a great day. Stay tuned for more. Thanks.